So how can you support your favorite channels? Well, the first things are share, like, and comment. But also you'll see sometimes people put links for pens or cups that go to Amazon. Those are actually a paid advertisement where basically what happens is if you buy a pen or a cup, the person who actually put the link will actually get a share of the sales. But something a lot of people aren't aware of though is if you clicked on a link for a pen or a cup and then go and buy a set of books for example they will still get a percentage of shares uh, sales because for 24 hours they've created a link to Amazon that took you to Amazon and doesn't matter what you purchase they will get a percentage of the sales which I know some people will think well hang on a minute but you know I don't want a pen or a cup but you may actually want to go there and buy a new camcorder and the important thing is here, it doesn't cost you a thing because the item you're buying is at the same price regardless. All that's happening is instead of going direct, you're actually giving a percentage of the sale to your favorite channel, which helps support channels buying new equipment or traveling a bit more. Because one of the things I want to do more with this channel is actually spend a bit more time on the road, uh, which is while we're looking at buying a new vehicle hopefully tomorrow the vehicle will be sorted but at the same time the more the channel supported the more I can invest in equipment you probably notice the new mic um, which is why these things are sort of relevant I'm not actually pushing a pen or a cup on this video but if you see something and you're thinking oh yeah that looks quite interesting please click through it, it helps everybody and you know okay you may purchase something on Amazon but also if you turn around and go Matt I'm on Amazon Australia or whatever I had the dot com and the dot UK's are no good to me then I can set up on the Australian one because that's another thing that people may not be aware of is the different Amazons are all completely independent so what happens is when I make some money on Amazon.com, I end up buying ebooks and stuff from the US because I can't actually credit my account in the UK. They're completely separate. Bizarrely. I don't know why. It's obviously tax reasons somewhere. But I thought I'd share that because I know some people may go, oh, well, I don't actually want a pen or a cup or whatever. But sometimes you might go, oh, I'm going to Amazon anyway. So I'll click through the link with the pen or the cup and then go and buy a DVD player you know it doesn't really matter but I just thought I'd share that because a lot of people aren't aware that you can actually make some revenue for your channel by purchasing through Amazon you know because I know that some people have complained on other channels from what I've been seeing about a lot of the ads that go along the bottom aren't relevant to what they're buying or interested in so something like that is actually probably more relevant to you than anything else. All right, thanks for watching.